Hey guys, today we're gonna make a vented enclosure for this 3D printer. Um, we want a vented enclosure for a few reasons. So the first is apparently when this guy is melting plastic, it's not the best for you to be in the same room as it and inhaling all the fumes. Uh, there have been some studies that say the byproducts of 3D printing aren't that great for you. I'll post the link in the description. And then the second reason we want an enclosure is because some of the plastics that we can print with, the really strong ones that are functional, require a really high temperature, like a really high temperature in the air, the ambient temperature needs to be high. So think of it as 3D printing in a sauna. So what we're gonna do is seal this thing up and then we're gonna run a hose out the top up here and kind of out a window or something. And we're gonna rely on the heat that comes out of the heated bed down here to kind of hot air rises. Hopefully it's gonna rise up the tube and out the window. If you wanted to get really advanced, you could put a fan up top, but my build is gonna be as cheap as possible. Super cheap enclosure. I couldn't find anything out there for, you know, like a 40 or $50 enclosure that had see-through side panels and everything. So um, I figured out one for you guys and hopefully you like it. Uh, what else? So assuming this build w did work and uh, everything fit together, what I'm thinking the parts list is, is uh, some hose right here. I think it's uh, five eighths inner diameter and just super thin walled flexi. And then the paneling, we're gonna use window insulation film. So grab some of that. Um, I've got a whole bunch of it, I think, like a hundred feet or something. Too much, but yeah, get yourself some window insulation film. Figure out how big your printer is and how many squares you're gonna need to get around it. And then all the side walls are half inch PVC. And I grabbed ooh, 30 feet, 30 feet of PVC. We're gonna need eight 22 inch cuts and four 30 inch cuts to get around this Creality Ender 3 3D printer. Um, this case is totally modular, so everything else we're gonna 3D print and uh, however big you want your case to be. Is fine just measure around it and uh, yeah next we're gonna print some pieces to couple the PVC together so when it's cut into pieces it'll just link and make a cube around this and then we'll wrap the window insulation film around it and um, we'll seal it up with this sponge seal on the bottom of the PVC tubes and hopefully this, uh, this thing comes together, so. Let's take a look at our 3D printed parts. They're done now. So the first one is uh, this coupler. Pretty simple, hollow on the inside and just sized out to fit our PVC tube. So that's gonna connect everything and make the big cube. And then this is basically the same coupler with a little attachment plate. So it's gonna sit in the top corner and it's gonna to mount to this little hose plate, like that. And then our hose is gonna run out of here and out the window. So hopefully everything's gonna to attach together and we'll just kind of run some glue in this guy, some extra tape if we have to, to hold all the PVC tubes in place. So let's cut them and stick everything together.
Okay. Our parts are all printed and our tubes are all cut. So let's see if we can get some sort of idea of what this thing's gonna look like and uh, how we like the fit of everything. So let's do it. Speed mode, initiate. <laughs> All right, looks pretty good to me, I think. Um, gonna test it over the 3D printer and then uh, glue it together. Okay, we're, uh, we're all glued together. Uh, I used some electrician's tape around the edges just because I didn't really trust the glue that much. Uh, so we're gonna test out the window insulation film now and hopefully it works because this is gonna be the kind of deciding factor on this build. Let's do this. Okay, one window down, uh, worked all right, I guess. Um, the double side tape that came with this kit sucks, so we're just gonna electrician tape the rest of it, and hopefully we don't have too many problems. Perfect. Okay, it's the next day, and I've got all the film put on. My room's a little small for these kind of shots, but that's how she looks. Um, so the idea with window insulation film is that you put double-sided tape down all your edges and then you just roll the film out and cut it and it's supposed to be that easy but the double-sided tape was absolute garbage. Um, I rolled the film out and as soon as I touched it it came off the double-sided tape. So if you're gonna do this build go and get Gorilla Tape if you want to use the double-sided tape. What I did was just put electrician's tape down the sides and it came together sort of easy. It was, it was really time consuming. So if you have power tools and you want to just make a case out of MDF, probably be a little bit easier, but if you want all the clear panels on a super cheap budget and you've got time and patience, then I'd still recommend you give this a shot. It, it wasn't too hard for me. Like all the panels, I didn't screw any of them up, but it was very time consuming and um, I wish I had better double sided tape. Anyways, love how it looks now though. Totally sealed, totally see through. Whole thing's cheaper than one pane of plexiglass would have been because that stuff's insanely expensive. So we're gonna put on our hose connector next and we're gonna do the ceiling foam underneath the case. Maybe cut a slot in it for the power cord. I don't have a table big enough to fit this monster yet, so I'll probably test it out over here on the desk. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna work good. All right, we've got 
the hose put in and the ceiling foam on the bottom. I'm running out of space in this room here for this shot. So I'm going to rethink things in the future and uh, try and get a better setup. But let's get the webcam and have a look here. Turn this mic a little bit. Um, so here's our enclosure. Looks pretty good, fits around the printer. Got that hose running out the window. And I think it turned out pretty well for a nice budget enclosure there. I'm really digging the, the totally see-through insulation film. Let's get back on me. There we go. So. All the parts are going to be on Thingiverse for you guys. Um, I'll do up a proper build list on my website and I'll link it in the description because this was kind of all over the place. I'll also post the same build instructions on the Thingiverse post because I know a lot of you guys, that's where most of my viewers come from. Um, yeah, I'm going to fire up a print in this so we can show it off a little bit. But it seems like it's going to do the trick. Uh, all the... All the hot air from the build plate should vent up this tube and uh, it should work good and keep us safe and free from the fumes and I'll be able to print with nylon and ABS now hopefully and I can start doing some real functional prints and some stronger stuff. Um, I want to try and pull test all the different plastics and see if we can get some sort of consistency and idea of how strong the parts are we're working with are and then we can decide on uh, recommendations for their proper uses so thanks for tuning in guys um, happy designing and I think that's it for me I'll catch you next video